what is good family this is uh another weight loss journey video um i know a lot of y'all probably like you ain't been keeping up yes i have not been documenting everything and honestly it's a it's kind of a reason why um because i wanted to actually focus more on it uh but I believe that it can help a lot of people still. But, um, if anything, your boy been dropping LBs. <laughs> For real. Like, I've been even fluctuating with my weight off and on, but then I actually started to see what I had to do, and then it shit started working. Real talk. Um, number one, make sure you get as much rest as y'all need to get. Like, for real. Because that's when the real results start to happen. Secondly, what I've been doing, I'm going to give you all what I've been doing. I've been resting as much as I can. The second one, I have been eating more good gut bacteria foods. Like stuff that will have you use in the bathroom a lot. Because you can have, you can eat all that food and all that. But if you're not defecating, if you're not getting all that out your system... I don't believe that you're going to lose any weight whatsoever. And then you having it sitting in your system for quite some time, it could make you sick. So, yeah, I've been doing that. <clears throat> I haven't been really having any taste for any meat, so I haven't been eating any meat at all uh, for these past couple uh, weeks. Um, matter of fact, I'm lying. It's probably like once or twice a week I've been eating like chicken, but I'm losing my taste for chicken. So, um, all right, that's the third. Like, if anything, I'm making sure I've been getting more fruits and vegetables in my diet. Yes, at one time I hated fruit, I did not like it at all. But once I did my research on the benefits of it, I'm in feeling so much more different than what I used to, you know, and. Plus, it's like people, you gotta use the bathroom. You gotta be able to use the bathroom. You can't have that food sitting in your system days in and out, and then you're wondering why you're sick. It's because some, most of the time you're either constipated, and it's like you gotta get that food out of your system. You gotta get that food out of your system. Um, that's how I pretty much felt with chicken. I, I, I was feeling like sluggish in the whole nine. Um, yeah, and plus I was eating food that was high in fats and shit like that. So I had to cut, act, cut back on it and uh, get back to the uh, game plan, to the blueprint in the whole nine. Um, what else? Um, oh yeah, I've been actually getting out here and getting some vitamin D. Getting out here in the sun and putting in work. Yes, there's times where it be hot as fuck, but it really helps a lot. Get your ass out here and get that vitamin D. Black people specifically. Because we, we can be very, very deficient in vitamin D. And K3 as well. I mean, K2. I'm sorry. K2 and vitamin D3. Make sure you're getting both of those in your system. Um... Yeah, man, it, it's been it's been a journey, real talk. So I'm about to go up here and do like a 30 minute to a 45 minute workout. I've been on Pinterest looking up a lot of different shit, and uh, yeah, I'm about to really put my body through some shit um, today. So I'm dreading it, but I'm looking a lot forward to it. So I'm gonna see you at the gym. Mom Duke is coming with me, so we're gonna go up in here and put in some work. I see you at the gym. All right, what's good, fam? This is the workout right here. Um, this one was crazy tough. I can't even lie. Um, we did have problems with the timer to begin with, so I was just like, I'm just going to knock this the whole workout out. And um, I'm glad I took off the timer because, God damn it, this workout was uh, tough as hell. I swear I got mental towards the end, and uh, it really took a lot out of me. I can say that. Um, 
and it's like it's one of those crossfit workouts where you just got to keep going until you finish the whole thing um i actually changed a lot of my workouts to that which is pretty dope but um yeah man try it out if you think you got what it takes um that's a 14 pound uh, medicine ball that i'm using and uh on a on a workout i had to use 225 for the deadlift so uh yeah i actually used trap bars because they had all the olympic bars held up today so uh yeah man this is the workout right here this start off with 30 and just kept going man and my mom's missed the uh the first five deadlifts um they were tough i can't front but yeah but yeah this is when we had some trouble with the timer and the phone and everything so yeah we got it together and uh we just kept it pushing so yeah tell y'all this it got real mental around this time like you really have to push yourself and keep telling yourself to keep going because i was really winded and uh, this really taps into your endurance as well as your strength when it comes to the heavy deadlifts so uh them wall balls were no fucking joke you're using like a heavy medicine ball i'm telling you like it will take your lower back your legs out you'll be wobbling in the whole nine trust me got down here there was plenty of voices in my head to tell me to stop and not do no more but like i was in there it was like ray lewis said it was a dog fight in there man we had to keep pushing you know and um i was pretty motivated due to the fact that i actually dropped three pounds that morning so i'm on the verge to being down 240 uh, sooner than I thought I would as long as I stay on my diet and the whole nine everything gonna be good but uh yeah man even my mother was like I need to stop and let her do her set but I'm like no you gotta keep pushing through so that's how it was man this was this was a tough ass workout and you can see that I'm sweating like hell so uh I'm telling you try it out y'all like it's not for the faint of heart like if you're gonna go up in here you just gonna do half the workout like no push yourself and test yourself see how far you can actually go that's the real that's where you really get to see how strong mentally and physically you are because this shit hurt <laughs>
giving y'all the good, the bad, and the ugly in this situation. Now, I really was just like, I don't want to do this fucking workout anymore because it's too tough. And uh, I really wanted to give up. And I, if anything, I just needed a quick breather. But, yo, that shit really got to me around this time because this shit was tough to me it was tough to me i can say but um some of y'all probably some savages out here and if uh you can knock this out quicker than me hey salute to you but it was definitely a challenge for me and i was just like yeah i don't think i'm gonna do any more of these deadlifts because my body was done like my legs was done my lower back was sore um, I know I, I didn't have the best of form on these deadlifts around this time because I was just so fatigued, man. But um, I got my ass up and I pushed through till I finished the whole joint. So, yeah, man, you got to push yourself, people. Let's get it. After that we went just full blast like yeah we got this shit so that's all i needed was that quick breather some water and we got right back to it like you gotta be your biggest motivator in the gym you gotta be your biggest personal trainer like especially when you want to just stop like you gotta talk that talk to you like no we're not giving up we're not stopping until this shit is done because it ain't nothing better than when you actually finish the whole workout man that'd be that you'd be having a beautiful feeling like you went through that pain you got through it you beat it and now you ready for the next one this set i was done but it's like at the while I, I was pretty mental right here like physically i was done but mentally i pushed the hell out of myself like i was done like i was down there for at least five ten minutes and then my mother tried it i didn't have her start uh where i well she actually wanted to start at 30 because she thought that she could knock it out until she actually started doing it and uh yeah it uh it humbled her <laughs> it really humbled her 
because it's just going right back to it after you done it that really humbled you and like it will definitely give you a quick sweat trust and believe that you'll be sweating bullets in that bitch for real um i was sitting down on one of the box jump joints because my lower back was destroyed well i can't say destroyed but it was real sore so yeah see she thought um yeah she forgot she had to do uh 30 of them and keep pushing but uh she did 30 25 and 20 after that it, it was it was over with for real and she even had to mentally push herself like ladies you can do the same thing my mother is in her 60s and killing it still to this day and trust me this is the fountain of youth for male and female this is where the fountain of youth is making sure your diet is right making sure you're getting active i'm telling you like this is where you get your true longevity and it's not just lifting weights and doing all this shit you gotta make sure you're stretching as much as possible doing yoga meditation like the mental physical and spiritual things that make your body mind and soul intact and just gotta keep pushing man that's all it was pretty crazy because i had that reminder what she signed up for she thought she had to do 20 when she actually had to go down by five so yeah and uh yeah she wasn't too happy about that but um yeah man like i'm telling y'all be careful what y'all sign up for when it comes to these workouts man but also don't make it too easy for yourself challenge yourself you know because that's where the real results actually happen you keep pussyfooting them workouts over and over and over again you ain't gonna get the results that you really want trust and believe that shit i mean you can start at your own pace in a whole nine but do something to truly challenge you every single day that you go to the gym trust me
folks she doing her last couple reps on the deadlifts and uh yeah she was definitely feeling it after that then right after that she wanted to get on the rower machine i was like why not let's just crank out the rest of our energy on this and uh yeah i was still fucking fatigued but she made me do it i ain't gonna let her do it by herself but yeah she felt that workout all the way through trust and believe that but yeah y'all try it out that workout fucking sucked